In terms of AIOs, we have witnessed already a couple of times when we we're talking about Liquid Freezer 2 and now with Liquid Freezer 3 that they aim for performance. Now, when we're talking about the actual Liquid Freezer, we had 240 already on review and in that video I showed you the tutorial on how to place it on AMD motherboard, on AMD processor and uh, how it all looks and works and everything all together, right? So we have two different cables and the same thing actually comes with this one. This is uh, Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360 black, so there's no RGB and I do have to admit it really does look outstanding for you guys that don't like the uh, RGB lights and all the other stuff. So in this build, even though you've seen this build already, I used it because I had two different AAOs inside and most likely tomorrow, I think, there will be an air cooler that will actually go into pair, well, not into pair in terms of performance, but to check out and compare with 280, I think there's 280, 360 and Liquid Freezer 3, 360, which is a thicker radiator than the 360 that I used. And there will be loads of comparison for you guys to check out and to see, uh, even though this case is, well, let's say a fish tank, right? And it has a different way of intake coming from the bottom and on the side. Uh, it's um, basically, I'm not aiming here to grab the best performance. I'm grabbing here some information to compare it to those uh, AAOs. So Liquid Freezer 3 360 Black, as you know, it comes with white version RGB and black version RGB and this model right here. And uh, there are a couple of things that I didn't mention in the prior video for the 240 that I'm going to mention here. So for the AM5, and I've seen a couple of comments when we're talking about the mounting well, not the mounting mechanism specifically, but the cold plate touching the processor and specifically AMD, where you can actually see the processor at the top. The thing is, the mounting brackets come with an offset with five millimeters. And if you remember me doing reviews on a couple of Noctua coolers, they also have a possibility for the offset. But there, in that scenario, you have a possibility to choose if you want to go with standard centered position or you want to go with minus seven millimeter offset. Here you have strictly five millimeter offset, which I think for both worlds, it's just somewhere in the middle. And this is why the cold plate is moved a bit further down to have that uh, better cooling for AMD processors. And this is why the cold plate doesn't cover the top part of the processor because it doesn't heat up that much and you don't have to worry about it. Even though just now realizing what I said would be quite uh, outstanding if I actually measured the top part with the laser and to see the thermals on that part. But yeah, maybe next time because there will be another uh, review of Liquid Freezer 3, but You'll see that in that video and I won't uh, spoil anything. So it comes with two cables. You can either connect the VRM fan, the pump speed and the fans on top with one cable or you can split them up in three different cables. So VRM fan, pump and the three fans on top. So that didn't change whatsoever. The offset, you already know, I already explained that. And the cool thing is it's... It actually fitted in this case, which I didn't expect, honestly, because of the way it's designed and all together. But uh, let's check out some main specs and then I'm going to jump right into uh, benchmarks. So it has Intel LGA 1700 uh, compatibility. And the thing is, I don't know how it fits on Intel and does it leave any additional space like on AMD. And I'm just saying this because I didn't want to use information from other reviewers what they did because I want to conduct my own, uh, let's say, information and all the other stuff, right? So for Intel, there will be a possibility for me to check out how it actually fits on that processor. And when we're talking about the mounting mechanism, it is a bit harder to mount it, I do have to admit. But to be honest, if you center it properly on those two threads on the mounting plates and you hold it from the top and you tie up those screws evenly, you won't have any problems. So be careful because when you put the pressure on that plate that is actually flexed just for the tension, you'll be able to do it. I actually mount this block in vertical position, so there shouldn't be a problem, right? It is a bit harder than usual, but place it down on, on the table, mount it, you won't have any problems, honestly. So 
let's continue md am5 and am4 socket compatibility you get mx6 thermal compound pump fans everything is four pin pwm connector and the cpu block vrm fan goes from 400 to 2500 rpms pump speed goes from 800 to 2800 rpms all controlled by pwm and the fans go from 200 to 1800 rpms when we're talking about the dimensions of the CPU block, we have 108 times 76 times 80 millimeters. Fans are P12 PWM with 25 millimeter of thickness. And when we're talking about the radiator, the radiator is 38, so we get up to 63 millimeters of thickness. Tube length is 450 millimeters, so take that into consideration, specifically because the tubes go beneath the AAO, beneath the block. So you do have to take that uh, specifically into consideration because the tubes are a bit stiffer than usual, stiffer than most AIOs, but then again, they do the job. So let's check out. I used, since we have here the XPG Invader X case, I used Levante X360, Valkyr Yarn 280 and Liquid Freezer 3360 Black. This is it. So AIDA 64 Extreme Edition CPU, I'm going to talk from XPG to Arctic Liquid Freezer, 92, 91, 87. So Liquid Freezer has the lowest temperatures here. And of course the highest clock speeds uh, at 4825. The GPU stays the same, so there's no interference with the GPU, 67 degrees in all benchmarks. Now Levante X360 goes from 89 to 85. So it kind of lowers down the thermal eventually through all those 10 tests. And when we go with Yarn 280, 80 degrees, 82, 80, and it kind of circulates, I would say, average of 81. But when we take uh, Liquid Freezer 3360, it's constant 81 degrees, eventually 80 on one test run, but that's it, it's, fi it's fixed. And now for the Cinnabon scores. So Levante X360 goes around 26,280-ish, something like that. Then we go with Yarn 280, which goes around 26,000, I would say 160, uh, maybe I said a bit too much, 130. And finally, we have a Liquid Freezer 3360, where the uh, Cinebench scores go above 26,400, I think I can say without any issues, like 70, 80. Because we have like three, I think two tests, uh, going above 26,500 and of course then uh, then there are some uh, eventually almost touching 26,500. What did I say about this case or what I mentioned this case specifically because in other cases I presume and I'm definitely sure of it that all three AAOs can reach much better uh, much better let's say cooling potential because of the airflow and of course even though you place the side tempered glass the fans just blow air inside the tempered glass towards the tempered glass and it doesn't create some sort of a let's say curve of the air coming towards the front and then pushing it upwards so it's all up to that it kind of does make um, if you have a directional airflow it does benefit your components it does benefit the cooling and everything else regarding the arctic liquid freezer 3360 of course there will be a badge and of course i'm definitely impressed with it best buy badge for the 360 aao just because of the price per performance ratio which is definitely outstanding and since i'm mentioning the price i think you still have that special discount price on their website and on amazon because because of their 23rd uh, birthday they are giving 23 percent discount on the price which is outstanding because nobody can beat that price and i'm not saying this because i got this for review i'm saying this because it's actually true i haven't seen an aio 360 with this thick radiator with such performance that actually does the job such well and with that price and of course then we have the pc crazy performance badge which is definitely deserves when we take into comparison even with a different chassis and a different configuration of the fans it still outperforms as regular 360 when we're talking about the thickness and 280 which is kind of obvious but uh, with loads of difference when we're talking about cinebench points so altogether 
I'm quite satisfied what they're doing. I'm quite curious how the Intel mounting uh, mechanism works when we're talking about covering the uh, cold plate covering the IHS of the processor and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. And of course, in the next coming weeks, there will be another video regarding the Liquid Freezer 3, but in a different size, which I still haven't covered. So you can probably guess which one is it. You can uh, leave a comment in the description actually to guess the color, the will it be RGB, will it not be RGB, and of course the size. So let's play a game. Uh, today's video, well, Liquid Freezer 3 360 Black. Uh, I'll place all of them in the description below, all configuration possible with the Liquid Freezer 3, so you can choose the one that suits your needs and suits your case eventually. And uh, that'll be all for today. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, click the notification bell so you don't miss that um, other AAO that I'll be covering. Thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.